Yo, what's poppin', ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mojo, and welcome back to another episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Days. We haven't done a Tinder Tasty Tea Days in a in a good little minute, you know what I mean? So welcome back. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed the last episode, which was what like two weeks ago. I've just been busy with all the other episodes and shit. So, but yeah, we're back with another Tinder Tasty Tea Days. This one's gonna be pretty damn solid. I'm excited for it, and I hope that you guys enjoy it. Well. Let's go ahead and get started. guys don't know i am hosting an event called stitch off uh, it's basically a stitch competition uh whoever has the best stitch wins there's prizes cash prizes crowns etc if you guys are interested in that all you gotta do is head over to the discord server go to hashtag stitch off and leave whatever stitches you want inside of that chat uh you can post as many stitches as you want you know there's no limit um and yeah once the event starts we'll go ahead and pop it rolling basically the best stitch wins so yeah hopefully i see you guys in that competition and uh yeah if you guys don't know where ttt or tinder tasty tea days is tinder tasty tea days is basically when the family and i come together and we get lit uh i rate wizard 101 stitches sent in by you guys via twitter using the hashtag tinder tasty tea days if you guys want to submit your own stitch all you got to do is head over to twitter make a post with your image just like kennedy did uh use the hashtag tinder tasty tea days make sure you at me in the post while also following me i'll see it i'll rate it and uh yeah that's really about it now let's go ahead and get started this stitch was sent in by kennedy crazy kennedy she sent in a bunch of stitches so you guys should already know who she is she is lit in uh i appreciate you sitting in this stitch this is her ice stitch uh she said at smojo sf updated look with a big old happy smiley face hashtag tender tasty tea days so we're gonna go ahead and start off with the first rating of the googly eyes does her stitch look good i think her stitch does look good you know what i mean it's obviously an ice stitch with different combinations of gear uh the color style the color scheme it all pretty much matches all well and meshes together i actually wonder where you are in this picture i've never seen that location before i see like the little ogre in the background it must be avalon or something but anyways uh the color scheme and everything looks good and i like it i really don't have any complaints when it comes to just does it look good honestly like it looks like a pretty decent stitch you know what i mean it, it doesn't it doesn't look bad you know what i mean um i give I, i'm gonna rate it a solid eight out of ten a solid eight out of ten i feel like you could maybe choose different pieces of gear to make it look even better um but that's more of a unique thing i guess you could say but um overall you know in general i think your stitch looks 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 pretty solid so yeah eight out of ten on the next one the big brain uh does it make sense does it make sense does it make sense does her stitch actually make sense I'm gonna say I'm in, I'm in the middle. I'm I'm really in the middle with this one. Like I'm honestly very much so in the middle. Now I do get the whole ice theme and everything like that. However, the main part about your stitch that's making me in the middle is the way that your boots and the way that your robe is kind of meshing together. It's like uh, it works, but it kind of doesn't at the same time mainly because your robe has these little uh, gray parts in it i don't know if you guys can see that the little gray parts um it, it's like blue white and gray right but when it comes to your boots it's only blue and white you know there is no gray in there at all so that, that, that part is kind of throwing me off like a lot and it's like the materials that your robe is made out of isn't the same it's, it's it's just not it's just not fitting i don't know i don't know what it is it's more like it it feels like your robe is meant for like the snowy icy type weather because it has like the cotton it's like the fur you know what i mean but then when you look at your boots it's like not fur at all you know what i mean and it's kind of just like it, it just feels like those two just just don't go together um i don't know what it is man I, I don't i don't know what it is it's just it's throwing me off you know what i mean it's throwing me off so uh, for this category i think i'm gonna give you a six out of ten on this category it's really just throwing me off like it's not horrible but it's not like it's not great you know in my personal opinion i feel like it's just not it's not hitting it's not hitting right you know what i mean it's not hitting right um and then the last one the uh, the star is it unique um now I want to say yes and no. It's like parts of your gear are unique, but parts of them isn't. You know what I mean? Like, for example, your robe, you don't see a lot of people using that robe, you know, which is a good thing, you know, making stitches out of gear that a lot of people don't use and making it work, in my opinion, looks amazing, right? But you don't see a lot of people using that robe 
And I appreciate you using that row. Now for your boots, you see everyone using those boots, bro. Those are like the the boots. You know what I mean? Those are like the, the main boots that are just like everyone has. Everyone, hold up. Is that the shadow? Are those the shadow boots? Are those, hold on, I thought those were the ice insignia boots. Are those the shadow boots or the ice insignia boots? Are those shadow or ice? I honestly have no fucking clue right now. <laughs> I really don't know. I think those are shadow though. I just looked at the uh, the little the little icon in the front. That's not an ice icon, right? That's a shadow, right? Those are shadow boots, right? I'm just gonna say those are shadow boots. In that case, then the uniqueness just went up because you never see people rocking shadow gear just because of how fucking hard it is to get. You never, even though they're like you know, even though they're the the, the type of boot they are is like everyone sees it, but the design on it, you never see people rocking in shadow because. The shadow boots are just extremely freaking difficult to get. You know what I mean? I did not know those were shadow. Okay, never mind. I thought those were just the regular, regular ice insignia boots. I, I take that back. I take that back. But yeah, the shadow boots are good. Shadow boots are... I, I still feel like you should definitely change up the robe. You know, you should definitely change up the... In my opinion, I would keep those boots and try to change up the robe and, and, and try to find a robe that goes with those boots a lot more. You know what I mean? It's just the boots and the robe are very... They're, they're like button heads in my opinion. Um... The wand, the wand's a little bit in the middle. I've seen it before. It's a really good wand. It looks really cool, which is probably the reason why I've seen it before, because a lot of people like it. Um, it's not bad, though. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things that's in the middle as well. And then with the ice horns, I do like the ice horns, mainly because, you know, you got the, the whole ice theme going on for you. Ooh, this is going to be hard on. I think I'm leaning towards a 7. I'm honestly thinking I'm leaning towards a 7 out of 10 on this one. You know what I mean? The boost is a plus. The robe is, is like a down. And then like the, the wand and the hat is kind of in the middle for me, honestly. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go with a seven for uniqueness on this one. Overall, I think, uh, you know, I think seven out of ten overall for this stitch. Seven out of ten. Um, Honestly, this could be a really good stitch. The main things that I would change, though, the main things that I would change, I would definitely change that robe. Definitely change that robe. I think that I would keep the shadow boots because they're shadow boots, you know? No one uses those because they're just extremely rare and really hard to get, you know? So I would definitely keep the shadow boots, try to make a stitch revolving around the shadow boots, and I would switch out the robe a hundred trillion percent. It's not a bad robe, but I don't think that robe goes with your boots, like, at all, you know? So I would definitely switch out the robe for something else. Other than the robe, you can maybe change out the wand for a different looking wand that's still pretty rare that's like you know unique and no one uses for example the robe that i have on my ice wizard i feel like that's one of those robes I'm, robes oh my god wands i feel like that's one of those wands that you barely see or never see you know what i mean that looks really cool so there's a there's a few ice wands out there that you could definitely use and as for your hat the hat's pretty decent i will keep the hat but it might be better to use a hat that's not hair that might be like you know, because, I, I, you know, it's one thing to use hair for a hat. Using hair for a hat is like, okay, you could do it. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, it's like one of those in the middle things. But actually finding, like, an actual hat to wear that goes with your stitch that's not hair and still looks cool, you get points for that. You know what I mean? That That's just dope, you know? Um, But, yeah, overall, I think it's a pretty solid stitch, 7 out of 10. I would definitely change the robe. I would, uh, you know, maybe change the hat and maybe change the wand for sure. But it's not a bad stitch, though. It's not a bad stitch. 7 out of 10 for sure. Um, but yeah, that's really about it. Uh, if you guys want to enter in an episode of TTT, Triple T, Tinder, Tasty Tea Days, like I said, just go over to Twitter. Follow me at Smojo SF. Uh, tweet me um, with the image of your stitch. And uh, I'll see it. Make sure you use the hashtag and also at me in your post. And if you want to enter Stitch Off, it's in the Discord server. So make sure you guys join that as well. And uh, yeah, that's really about it for this episode of Triple T Tender Tasty Tea Days. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, everybody. I love ya. Ooh, ooh.